Then there's Mrs. Myrtle Wise making gears. Her son, Don, is at the Aberdeen Proving Ground, proving Bofors guns. Her husband is in the chemical division. Son, Hubert, is in the engineering department, but leaving soon for the army. And her other son, Leroy, is in the aircraft division. Talk about an all-out effort. The small parts are assembled in sub-assembly bays that fringe the main assembly floor. Just look at those acres of Bofors guns are growing. Not like seasonal crops, but like the steady flow of Old Man River rising to a flood. From one side come the top carriages with girl electricians installing the wiring. Cranes pick up a finished carriage and carry it to meet the stream of chassis rolling up from the other direction. The guns are mounted and controls hooked up. The gun rolls on into the spray booth to get into its war paint. A curtain of falling water carries off the fumes while the makeup of olive drab is applied. Then the inspectors take over. Here is a modern Molly pitcher working a gun by remote control. Mary Miller's husband used to do this work. And when he was called to the colors, she donned her slacks and took his place. And now testing the alignment and sighting of what one Marine called the fightinest gun I ever saw. <laughs> 